Alright guys, so one more quick tweak before we actually move on to something else is this uh, front shell we've made over here. So if you go over to the top view right here, you can actually see that it follows the fender very nicely. But if you get onto the side, then there is a problem. So you can see it's not really following it like that compared to the reference image. So that's what we're going to fix in this video real quick. So what I'm going to do is let's go over to the guide meshes panel. I mean the uh, collection and we're going to let's put all of these off. I don't know how they came on. Let's put them all off and I want to turn on the guide mesh and we will enable the front shell guide which is this one. So I'm going to make this one match up with the uh, front shell, I mean the front fender so everything can look great once we apply the shrink wrap to the actual mesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these from here to that one and let's scale it in the z-axis okay until it follows the the front fender very nicely like that. So that's basically what we're going to do to each of these each of these vertices we're seeing here or edges we're seeing here. So this one is next. Let's get onto the side view and let's have it follow it nicely like that. So just do this to each and every single one of those vertices close to that area. So I think this is next. Make sure that is the last selection, the one at the end there. And make sure your pivot, your pivot point is set to active element and just keep doing this like that. Alright, so that should pretty much do it, I think. Alright, so let me just get into the front view real quick. I'm going to fix things in the front view. You can see the curve is not really looking great. So let me take this again, S and Z. I'm just going to scale things around to make it more curvy and nice. Like that. So I think that should be good. Should be looking great now. Yeah, so it is. Now with that, then I'm going to take all of the vertices in the middle here, these ones, and I'm going to slide it back a little bit, so I'm going to I mean down, so I'm going to slide it down a little bit to here, I want to do the same thing with this, because upon scaling them, it actually shrinked towards the top, so we're going to move things around a little bit to, you know, mellow out the bevel at the very top, so with that done, we're going to have to shrink wrap this again, so let me get over here, Unlucky for us, we deleted that shrink wrap, so let's add it back in. And uh, let me see, I think we have the vertex group already there. Yeah, so let's get over to the this side. Let's load in the vertex group and then let's type in front shell guide. I think that was the name front. I'll just type in shell. All right, so front shell plane. I think that was the one. Now, let me just select, let me bring the plane, the front shell plane back. This is it, front shell plane guide. Unhide that one. Are we in local view? I think we're in local view. So let's get to global view. And let's take this. You can see it's way too low. So I'm going to take all of this. Press G twice and then C. And I'll send it beyond it. Like that. Nice. So with that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the edges here. All the way to the middle there. I'm going to press W. And under loop tools, we're going to choose space. To evenly space things out like that. So with that done, let me just hide that again. Let's take this. So let's go into local view again. And let's see what do we have. Alright, so that should work pretty nicely, I think. Let me put that off and see. And on and off and on and off. Let me get into the object data buttons. Let me see which vertices we have assigned to this. Yeah, we definitely don't want these ones. I don't know how they got assigned to it, but we don't want these assigned to it so just select all of that one and click on remove I don't know about these ones as well so these ones too shouldn't be assigned so select all of it let me just send it back a little bit to about here I'm gonna click on remove as well so that should only leave the ones in the very middle assigned yeah so that's what I wanted so let's get back to the modifiers button and let's enable this yeah so with that done let's just let me copy this and I'll disable this one and apply this Okay, so I think that's it. 
that is looking great but the bevel is too small up here so we have to take care of that I want to take all of these all the way to the middle and I want to slide it down okay I want to slide it way down like that and um, let me see let me take all of these as well and let me just slide it down as well pretty close to this one I want to take this and slide it this way and slightly up alright so with that done let me do the same thing with let me do the same thing with this side. So I'm going to take all of these to the middle right here. And I want to slide that back as well. So let's just slide it back to the middle like this. I want to take all of these as well. I want to slide that back as well. So just a little bit like that. So we can have that bevel looking nice over there. So that's what I wanted to achieve. Now let's get out of that and go to global view. Let's see how that follows the uh, the front fender so you can see it follows it very nicely let me select everything in the front shell and recalculate the normals so we can actually see this much better alright so it's following it nicely all that we have to do now is to we have to bring this one up to you know sharpen things up and make it look a lot like it even more so I'm going to move this in the Z axis I think that would be best was moving in the Z axis. No, let's make this one the active element. Let's press S and Z instead. And let's kill this in the Z axis to right there. So I think that was best. Just kill it in the Z axis. And I can see it follows it very nicely now on all angles. So that was what I was trying to achieve. Just make sure you achieve that too. And let's apply the shrink wrap again because you can see there's a bit of a problem here. So let's enable that and apply like that so that should look great nice so um, I don't know I want to make this one more beveled so let me take all of these to the middle okay we're gonna slide things around to make it look more beveled so I'm gonna press G twice hold control move it down point four like this I'm gonna press G twice and move it back point three what's what is that point three alright so that should make it more beveled unless I'm wrong I think I might actually be wrong. So let's undo things. Let me see. How are we going to do this? Maybe I should slide it back a little bit like this and down a little bit like that. Does that help? Yeah, so I think it helps a little bit. We can keep it like that. So it's not bad. Alright, so we'll keep it like that. Now let's let's get back to global view. And let's see how we can fix this on the... Uh, the main this this mesh right here so let's take both of those and let's go into local view now I want to take this and hide it so you can see we have some issues here pretty much so all that we have to do is to scale them the same way so I'm going to actually time lapse this side out so you can it's pretty much the same way we did with the guide mesh so just scale things up in the Z axis the same way as we did with the with the um the guide mesh so S and Z you can see what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should unhide the uh, guide mesh and use that as as an actual guide. I'm not sure, but I think we'll still survive. So let's just let's just scale things up like that. S N Z very nicely. So things are working out very nicely. Alright, so that should do it once you finish all that. But now we actually are in getting that bevel that we have in the guide mesh. Because you can see on the guide mesh we have some serious bevels going on. But we don't have that on the main mesh here. So let me just hide the guide mesh again. And let's go in here. First off, let's make sure we have the uh, right vertices assigned to the group. So I want to go in here. I want to click on select. And I think, yeah, those are the right vertices. So all we got to do now is to move things around to, you know, match that curve a little bit more better so I'm going to take all of these I'm going to press G twice I'm going to slide it down to about the middle like that and uh, let me see I'm going to take this one and slide this down to here and let me take this I'm going to slide it down to here and 
Let me see what else, what else. I'm going to slide this down a little bit. I'm going to slide this down here. Take this. Slide it down here. And it should be looking good. Let me slide this down here a little bit more. Alright, what else? So we have to move these ones a little bit more back. So let's start with this one right here. Let's, you know, let's dissolve that one. Let's just dissolve that edge. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to press it twice and slide it back to about there. Alright, so that should help with that bevel on the top here. So yeah, so it's looking more like the reference image now. Very nice. So um, let me see, let me get over here. Let's do the same thing. I want to dissolve this one right here. I'm going to send this one back to this point like that. And let's space this out a little bit more. So I'm going to take this. Let's take those, press G twice, and slide it up just a little bit. And I think that should do it. Let's get on to the bottom here. What do we need to do here? Uh, let me see. Okay, we don't really need to do anything down there, so we'll keep that side intact. And yeah, everything is looking good. Anything else we have to do? I don't think so. Everything is looking great. I think all that we have to do, let's take these ones. Okay, so we're going to dissolve it. I want to add in a new one so it's sitting right in the middle like that. And let's make sure it's assigned. So I'm going to go in here and click on assign just to assign it to it. Alright, so that should do it for the front shell, I'm pretty sure. Let me just get out. Let me press Alt and H. I'm going to get out to the local view. And, crap, I unhid all of these. Let me just hide them real quick. Including the one we just unhide it. Alright, so, you can see it's looking much better now. You can see it's following the fender very nicely on both angles. Including this angle. Very nice. That was what I was looking to achieve. What we had before wasn't looking great at all. Let me get in here though. Let me take let me take it from here and to there, S and Z, and let me send this up. I want to press G twice and slide the things around in this on this side. Let me slide this here a little bit back. And just press G twice and then C and move this up. Slide it back in here. And let me take all of these S and Z, S and X like that. Let me slide this up here. So I'm just sliding things around to, you know, match the whole thing. Like that. So yeah, we achieved it. Now before we actually go, let's take a look down here. I want to fix something down here too. If you take a look here, you can see it's pretty sharp and tightened to that area. It's uh, sitting on it very firmly. And I think we can actually achieve that with this. Too. So let me just take this and knife this all the way to here. And I'll press E and knife it all the way to here too. So you can see what we've achieved there. I'm going to set it down in the z-axis. I already have a shrink wrap so it shouldn't be a problem. And I'll move it here as well. Now I'm going to go into wireframe. Let's press F2 to make that a quad. So I'm going to take these two, press S and Z and type in 0. Like that. Alright, so that is looking great. Just sitting on it very nicely now. That's what we're looking to achieve. Let me just take all of these and send it up a little bit more. Let me send this up a little bit too. Alright, so let me take this and slide this down just a little bit like that. Alright, so that was what I was trying to, I wanted to fix over there as well. And you can see it's looking great. So yeah, we finally achieved what we wanted. And I'm pretty sure that will do it for the bumper. I'm not, I don't think we will be coming back to fix anything on it again. This time I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.